Good afternoon, everyone. Well, today um, today is a special day, as they all are uh, here, uh, you know, where I am now. Um, I wanted to point something out to you. I, You know, it's another sunny morning, uh, sorry, afternoon now. <laughs> it's another sunny afternoon in Brownswag. And when I say another, I mean it's the second one since I've been here. And that is why today is a special day. I'm going to go today, fourth adventure. I'm Braunschweig's uh, junior cub reporter, apparently. I believe I've adopted that. I purchased a tripod last night, so <laughs> now you know I've got hardware to prove it. So today we're going to see art. Today we're going to see old buildings. Today we're probably going to have a cup of Starbucks and so enjoy the ride with me it's going to be an adventure and we'll talk to you again soon so here we are here's where i spent a couple hours today at the berg donk varoda varderoda i'll get it right um i'm uh i went and see some art uh i did not uh get to view the rembrandt that i am after uh, but I did get to see some Goya, whom I love. Some uh, medieval art, uh, which is always uh, a lot of fun. Sort of reminds me of doing props many, many, many moons ago uh, for a play called The Lion in Winter, which was not my favorite. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was interesting. It was a little blast from the past. Um, I'll be sharing certainly the pictures. But I wanted you to get a look at uh, actually the main art museum, the uh, the Ulrich I've been looking for, is actually closed until 2013 for renovations. Must be some terrific, magnificent renovations, but I'm not going to be here that long. So the temporary exhibition is in this building. It was a lot of fun. I went in and uh, the guy at the front desk doesn't speak any English and so uh, we we communicated well enough for me to pay for admission and then uh, I went upstairs to the exp exhibition it took me a while to figure out which door to go into and how to open it uh, that was another good experience and then I got in and the lady told me that my backpack was not allowed so I went downstairs figured out how to work the lockers the guy at the front desk showed up again and he smiled at me like he knew that I probably didn't understand the first time when he explained it. And I uh, went ahead and threw my stuff in a locker and proceeded to take some photos, which I will also share with you through this blog. And now we're going to go off and explore a different part of town. So hope you're enjoying this. Probably not as much as I am. And uh, this is your cub reporter from across the pond signing off for a minute. Hello everyone, and I wanted to present to you the epilogue of my trip to see some art in Braunschweig. And also I visited a church, the St. Martini. Kirke, uh, which uh, loosely translated because that's about what I'm capable of, St. Martin's Church. And uh, it was a lovely place. I They had a little more stained glass, although it was all very light colored stained glass, no fanciness. Um, again, with the sun rising at 8-ish and setting at 4.30-ish, probably a great move. Um, so, I wandered in, there happened to be an art exhibition going on, but they were charging for that, so I avoided it. Um, it was uh, someone who had uh, done some pen and ink stuff, I think, but uh, I took a peek, I didn't, didn't feel moved to see more, so, um, so I just kind of hung out in the church area. Uh, certainly the photographs uh, will uh, will be on the blog about this, but uh, you know it was a it was a very nice place. I began to think about all of the you know people in the Middle Ages and and you know for well for a long time 
when people couldn't read, they told these stories, certainly the biblical stories, uh, through, you know, statues and paintings and stained glass. And, and, uh, and I think about what, you know, the depth of what they were trying to communicate back then through these things. And, and it's interesting, you know, I, I kind of, I, I go through a lot with the language barrier and incidentally kind of figuring out a way to put that in my thesis because it fascinates me because yeah there's the german english language barrier but there's also which you know this is far more relevant to you but the uh techie person end user language gap um and uh and that uh i think kind of studying that will be relevant maybe to my future job should i get gainfully employed in the near future. The student loan people will be very interested in that. But uh, but yeah, so kind of going back to the, the language barrier and trying to communicate like through pictures and things like that. And that stuff really fascinates me. I After the church, I went to Starbucks, of course, obviously. And, uh, you know, I saw my, my favorite Starbucks lady there. Now, my favorite in Germany, um, favorite Starbucks lady obviously Jessica, but, uh, but anyway, uh, I, uh, and I, I love this lady because she always speaks to me German first, and then I give her the look, the one that says, hmm, uh, and then she'll <laughs> rattle it right back at me in, in English, and, and, uh, yeah, it's just fascinating, but, um, no, I don't need a receipt. I'm good. I need to learn the word receipt, by the way, because they always ask you, and I, I never need them. <laughs> Uh, unless I'm trying to memorize the address of something. Anyway, so uh, so yes, I went to Starbucks actually, and I kind of uh, downloaded some information that had been rolling around in my brain. The first, one of the interesting things about today is that I got into the art exhibit. Now, I'm always afraid to open the main door of a place. Uh, I mean, unless... The door is like standing open. I'm always afraid to go up to it. Even though I know that the word geschlossen means closed. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I, I know I know the dangerous words. I know when to not go in. But unless someone's at the door beckoning, you know, um, I, you know, I have a hard time just going on in there. Because I think that uh, I'm going to interrupt something or someone's going to yell at me or, you know, something. But uh, I'm getting over that fear slowly. At any rate, uh, I did enter the building. Uh, this was for this is for the art exhibit. Now we're scooting back, but I entered the building, and then I made my way up to to the upstairs, and uh, I had some trouble with the doors. Now, you know, in America, uh, a door has a knob. You turn the thing, you're in. There's no guesswork. There's no, you know, uh, there are no latches, you know. I swear, though, uh, you know, a lot of the, the doors over here, first of all, regular doors. Regular, hello, I'm a lock on a room. They, in America, you, you turn it once and it's locked. You turn it back and it's unlocked. Europeans, though, have it a little different. I think they have a middle setting. And uh, I'm here to tell you that's a little confusing to someone like me. The first couple of nights I stayed places, I think I left my door unlocked a little bit because uh, you turn it once and it clicks, you really, you, you gotta go all the way. Uh, if you, you know, if you're ever coming over here, go all the way, make it click twice. Um, but these doors, this, this, uh, this art exhibit was in the middle of this, looked like a castle to me, looked castle-like, um, and so I'm faced with this door, and it's huge, and they've told me that the art exhibit is on the second floor, and I'm on the second floor, and I've got these huge doors right in front of me, and all these carvings, you know, I took a picture, it's in the blog, but if you can imagine Harry Potter doors, okay, uh, so we'll just, just a huge, and I'm like, what do I do with this thing? Because there was no evident knob. 
And so I walked up to it and I thought, well, I'll just push. You know, just I'll push on a thing, I'll pull on a thing, I'll get through this thing. There's absolutely no passage through that door. And, uh, and so I stood there. There was a little door off to the right. And I thought, and there was a sign on it. And I didn't know what the sign said. So, uh, so of course, I whipped my trusty phone, my Droid 2, bing, out of my pocket. Now, a word on the Droid 2. <laughs> I, the battery on this thing lasts about 30 flippin' seconds. I don't know why, but uh, it's it's a little annoying. I'm not sure if it's something I'm doing, if it's just you know, the voltage or the wattage is different over here, and so it's frying the battery, I don't know. But let me tell you, it doesn't last very long. Anyway, it lasted long enough for me to type the words that I saw on the sign into the phone, and it translated as, please close the door. And I looked at the door, and I thought, the door is already closed. Now what? So I just stood there for a while. I heard some people coming up the stairs behind me. I thought, I will hang hang out. I will pretend to read this other sign that is completely in German. And I will wait and I will see what these people do. So that's what I did. It was a elementary school class, I'm pretty sure, who were taking a little trip. Or, I, well, it is Saturday, so I don't know what the hell was going on. Maybe they have school on Saturday. Maybe it was a church group. I don't know. Anyway, I stalked him. I, I hung out in the background, and I waited until somebody did something. Open Sesame, I don't know. It turns out they went right through that little door. So I followed them right up. And, yeah, there was the art. So, then a little later on, I'm just, this door thing just keeps cropping up. I was a dork today, a dork with two O's. That means when you approach doors, you don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so anyway, later on, as I was leaving, I approached another door, and this one was very fancy. It had, I mean, there was some stuff ha hanging out in the knob area, but it was all sorts of you know, like uh, wrought iron latches and things. It was very fancy. Um, but again, not like doors in America. Not like you can just walk up and it darts open for you. No, no darlings. Um, so I eventually, I put my hands on it and I started moving things and eventually I got out that door as well. But it's, uh, it's a little bit humbling to uh, stand near a door and not know how to get in. <laughs> uh, maybe it's good for me to be humbled sometimes. Maybe it's nice for me because I, I'm a person who goes 100 miles an hour all the time to stop, smell the roses, and become one with the door so that I can pass through it. Anyway, interesting day. Great stuff. Saw some great stuff. Took, so, took a lot of photos. Uh, you know, proud of my trek today, proud of my progress. Tomorrow, I have plans. Now, we all know, I mean, I, I say something and I, I say I'm going to go somewhere. That's probably a sure sign I'm never going to get there. But uh, there's a couple of things in Hamburg that I want to see. One of them is a concentration camp called Noyengama. And so tonight I make plans. I'm going to be at the railway station. Oh, dark 30 tomorrow with my plans in hand with my tickets I've got my correct tickets this time it's just gonna be a day trip because that way I'm avoiding the $17 that would take to stay in a hostel and yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna arrive at about uh, 10 something in the morning I'm going to, it, so there's a rival at the train station, but this place is a little south of town, so there's, there's some connections and some buses and some stuff happening. Uh, so, uh, so I'll probably arrive at about noon when they open. I'll hang out there for as long as I need to, um, and then I will be coming back on the night train, and that will be at about either 6.30 or 7.30, and so I should arrive back here in town latest 10, 15, 10, 30. So that's my plan.
it may not work out that way at all. I may decide to go see some more art. I may get lost on the way, start crying, soil myself, and have to be taken home. I don't know. You know, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to give it a try on your behalf, obviously. And so wish me luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.